Welcome to Thailand's gastronomy city, Udon Thani! Udon Thani is a transportation junction in northeastern Thailand and a gateway to Laos. So travelers always drop by here to fill their stomach. There's also a big expat community. Let's meet my friend from Czech Republic who has settled down here for almost a decade at a famous Somtam place in town. Are you familiar with what we got now today? Yeah, I know most of it, but I am a big fan of, of Pala. But of course Somtam. Grilled chicken. Yes. Okay, grilled fish. This is yes. healthy as well. Well, it's, it's very healthy food. In Isan, they have different kind of somtam. They have somtam with, with fermented fish. Yeah. Which is famous here at this it's, place. It's very famous. Many people love it. Well, I, I prefer more somtam Thai, but it's me. But I know many people which love that dish. Yeah. And of course, they have spicy salad, lap. Yes, lap yeah. Mui. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Ah, cool. This is called Muyang. Yes. Thai people love this. With, okay. with that sauce is perfect, it's fat. We have actually this food a lot in, in Central Europe, in Czech Republic and in Eastern Europe. Okay. We eat a lot of fat pork. It's good. Right? Yes, it's very good. <laughs> Not good for health, but for us. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> this original branch of some Tam Chekai has been opened for over 50 years. Its secret weapon, as Vincent has said, is homemade fermented fish. So if you're here, let's give it a try. Next, let's visit the first branch of VT Nam Nien, whose owner brought the original recipes from Vietnam. And a lot of Bangkok people, they stop by this restaurant and buy something back home before they board the plane. Normally this is a signature, they call real pork wraps. You see that it's like nice color and then mixed with different kind of vegetables. They prepare with, for us, cucumber, dark fruit and raw banana. And sometimes Thai people love the spiciness of chili and garlic. Okay, we have to put this into the water, softer, and then we, we wrap everything yeah. with the rice. This one have you had before? Yeah, with, yeah like, sugar cane, prawns. yeah, with prawns and uh, fried and then deep fried. Okay, this one, of, of course, you know of this. Isan sausage, Isan sausage. Is the standard in Isan. This is spring rolls, but then, this one is special because I used to have in Vietnam. That's shredded pork. Um, yeah. yeah. Over the rice pad or rice paper, okay. Uh, it's called Ban Bao. And that one? This is a uh, sausage wrapped with uh, egg and, and some vegetable inside. Lettuce and spring onion. But last but not least, I love that they have a lot of herbal juices here. One is this Thai blueberry, Mak Mao. We rarely have this in Bangkok, actually Mak Mao, but it's good for your health. They have like antioxidant benefits, good for your heart, good for your eye. Let's change the mode to fine dining and meet with a Thai celebrity chef, Chef Noom, who used to work in San Francisco. Thank you so much for your time today. Good evening. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay, so welcome to Samuel Sons. This moment it's the rainy season, yes. and then we would like to represent something that's uh, really, really local at the moment, and then we turn it something to to elevate Isan cuisine. So then since Isan region has a multi food culture, so then um, at Samuel Sons, we would like to give this experience to the each courses to our guests. Hope you enjoy. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Samui and Sons serves a contemporary Isan tasting menu and a la carte dishes in love style space. Ingredients come from several locations in Isan region. The cooking process is meticulously done. For the full experience, I would recommend you try the excellent seasonal tasting menu like I did today, which not only balances flavors but is also nutritionally balanced. Mm. 
is a typical dish for local Thais and here I am at one of the most famous beef noodle shops here in Isan. They've got both a clear soup type and the brown soup type. The beef here has been dressed for at least four hours. They've got both beef and beef, uh, beef meatball as well. For noodle lies, they've got us to choose from like the thin white noodle lies to the, the big one, Senyai or the vermicelli type or grass noodles and egg noodles. For side dish, they provide us some vegetables and here is a chicken skin. Thai people love it. But the highlight is this one. Their homemade nam prik pao or the spicy chili paste. The similar type that they use in Tom Yam. But this time you gotta have the chance to try this with the beef noodles. And some herbal juice is available here as well. I've just ordered this Roselle drink. Within Nong Pratak Park area, we can find one of Udon Thani's first cafes, which has transformed into a restaurant serving mainly European cuisine and a few Thai dishes. Most are made with organic ingredients, and the pasta and bread are made fresh daily. How did you find the food scene in Udon? Amazing. Really good quality, especially Put everything here. I was lucky to find this place. Um, I stay here also a long time, for four months already, in the condo, beds and Bulungiri. Nearly try every second day something else here in the restaurant. The taste was always on point for me, for my taste. Okay. Um, freshness, organic, uh, the priorities, mm -hmm. and the scenery from that place is amazing. Yeah. They've been open for, I think, 20 years. Oh, wow. Created like international food as well as some Thai food. Mm -hmm. Never Thai food. That one is quite popular. Customer. Like salad, mm -hmm. everything salad they call it. You got a white fish fillet, like pumpkin soup. But this one, if you've tried before, it's like one of the popular dishes for Thai people. Okay. Yang Sang Rock. We've got like squid, kapopa, uh, which fun. People who come here, they've got good uh, Western food. This one, you like it? I love it. The bread's here, our own bakery. Very fresh and especially the cheese as well. Cheese. The cheese uh, yeah. sort is good. Yeah. And that one is quite good. Uh, baked muzzle mm -hmm. with cheese. Not only do expat friends love Udon Thani, but many locals have also moved back home to be entrepreneurs. Let's enjoy some coffee and dessert at these two cafes run by native Udon ladies. What is your inspiration to start this business? Um, I love cooking, I love baking. That's why I start this business. Oh, okay. <laughs> simple. And it's like a barn. In front, you know, I miss the rice field. We um, have rice field. We have a house. You live here? Yes. Wow. Okay. Before it was a, like a cottage. Mm. We don't live here before. We just come here only on the weekend. Okay. And so I decided to have a restaurant here. So okay. we move here. Right. And then I start the restaurant, the cafe here. For me, I mean, the first time here, I felt surprised to see a lot of like special looking uh, dessert. Like this one, what, this what are one they? This one is strawberry pistachio tart. Basically, I love tarts. It's not too creamy, crunchy, and some cream cheese. Mm. So I mix everything that I like. But this one should be a like, local fruit? Yes. Uh, fig? In Thai? In Thai, madura. Madura, okay. Sweet? Yes. Okay. With and honey. There's some honey with the mascarpone cheese with the almond tarts. Right, okay. How about this one? Looks really the, beautiful. Um, light cheetos. Tart. Okay. Right now, the lychee is in season. We mix with rose mm -hmm. and some strawberry jam. Wow. The drink, makrut. There's cafe lime mixed with coffee. Coffee, coffee. very okay. fresh. That one you have roses have as well. Rose with lemon soda. That one is the herbal tea. We grow it here. Mm.
When I came in here, I felt like it's a cozy place because this is an old house and I made it into a cafe. It is owned by two sisters, the bigger sister, she's a lawyer, that's why this place is named Cafe-in-Law. And now the younger sister, she quit her job from her yard and moved back to her hometown to develop the coffee scene here in Udon Thani. And they sell not only coffee or desserts, but they also have hot plates like what I'm having right now. It's Tom Yam Spaghetti. They should be very popular among international friends. And I've ordered this espresso shot that will be pouring over linchi and pineapple juice. I really love the presentation of this dish, which is like lemon cheese tart and decorated with strawberries and blueberries. But the special thing is that they have meringue on the top. Hope you enjoyed gastronomy journey in Udon Thani with me. There's still a lot more to explore in Isan region. Please stay tuned for more updates from amazing Thailand. <laughs>